Gauravani was actually supposed to read today, yeah. but he feels a little sick. And he suggested Shishi Radha Rasa Sudhanidi from Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati, verse 18. Yeah. When will Shri Radha, when will Shri Radha, who is an ocean of cleverness, an ocean of anurag rasa, an ocean of motherly affection, an ocean of very deep compassion, an ocean of elegance, a nectar ocean of glistening transcendental forms, and an ocean of play be manifest in my heart. How many ocean? Seven oceans. If you go to one ocean, difficult to control yourself. The waves cannot, you know, now Gopinath went to the wave, uh, ocean to check the waves in. Kerala. Kerala. And he break his neck. Dislocated. Dislocated. Shoulder. Shoulder. I had the same thing and in here Kerala. Is the, same. <laughs> the same thing to you. You <laughs> be careful. <laughs> and here is the seven notion of the waves are there. Again, repeat this line. This is the mercy of Radhika of, for the waves in life. When will Sri Radha, who is an ocean of cleverness, an ocean wow. of anurag, rasa, an ocean of motherly affection, an ocean of very deep compassion, an ocean of in elegance, a clear mm -hmm. ocean of glistening transcendental forms, and an ocean of play be manifest in my heart. Yeah. Gauranga Sundar, can you explain more? Radhe Radhe Gurudev and all devotees. So we can hear from the words how Prabhupada Saraswati is praying to Radhika and in the same time in these prayers he is glorifying her. And the best glorification is to glorify her beautiful, unlimited qualities. So he is starting, when will Sri Radha? Then he is glorifying all seven main uh, qualities and said that Radha, I want to appear in my heart. And not yeah. only in my heart, I want that my mind is drowning in these seven oceans. Yeah. So in that way, all my desires will be fulfilled because I don't have any other desires. And because I only have one desire, only the object of that desire, Radhika, can fulfill this desire, no one else. So we can, Gurudev started with one ocean, trying to explain and to give some hints that one ocean is quite enough. 
but we can see here that Prabhupada Saraswati is glorifying seven oceans. And each ocean has its own specific, beautiful, sublime nature. And each ocean, which is mentioned here, actually is not only ocean. So many different waves, small ones, middle ones, high ones, are present in each of these ocean. And we know that so many devotees have experience from the ocean and when we are on the shore of the ocean we can see the small waves which are coming together and making a bigger waves and these bigger waves are coming together again and make the higher 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 waves and then these high waves splash the shore. So devotees wants to be splashed with these beautiful high waves of Radhika's qualities. But also her beloved, her Mohan wants to be also splashed with this ocean. And this, we know that or the materialistic ocean can be very dangerous, like Gurudev mentioned, Gopinath and Chakshu said, I'm living nearby the ocean and I can witness it. Ocean can be very peaceful, very mild, but in one moment can be very, very, very dangerous. But this ocean of Radhika's qualities are very refreshing, very cooling for Radhika's maidservants, for Krishna. Actually, it's cooling for everyone who exposes himself to the water of these beautiful waves of each of these ocean which is inside of each other. <laughs> and all these qualities, yeah. beautiful qualities from the ocean actually are also like jewels. And we know that many jewels are coming from the ocean. And these beautiful emotions of Mahabhava Swarupini Shirada is also like a jewels in the ocean of her beautiful, nice qualities which I cannot find the words to glorify. So I have to listen, to read those who are drowning in that ocean. Radha, Radha. Commentary. Filachiva Goswami writes in his British Sandarva that along with the desire to please the deity, there's also a natural desire to have an intimate relationship with him and to attain him. Yeah. That is also a beautiful point. Intimate. If you take Bhagavad Gita, page four, Prabhupada says, Arjuna was the student of Krishna, friend of Krishna, a student of Krishna, 
an intimate friend. What means intimacy is important in our spiritual life. A student is not sufficient. To be a devotee is not sufficient. To be friend also not sufficient. Intimacy is important. Yeah. After Vilap Kusumanjali, I see in the preparatory class, Prabhupada give all the points what is important to do in Bhagavad Gita. This surprised me. Yeah. The devotee who is fixed in Smaran attains direct association with his chosen deity within his mind. You see, Asmaran means where my mind is going, what I'm thinking. If you watch thinking, what I like, I think. I like material life, material thing. I think only for that. What I am liking, I am doing that. Is a natural. Where is my intimacy? I do that. It's not unnatural, it's very natural what I think. Asmaran is a Hindi word, thinking and mind goes automatic there, is an English word. But the meaning is the same. No, give it on it. Is thinking, asma and mind auto automatic is going without no efforts there. Where is my intimacy? There are. The devotee is fixed in smara and attains direct association with his chosen deity within his mind. Just as the devotees have discussions with each other in this world, so do the girlfriends and maidservants of Sri Radha have them in the spirit world. Well, you have to read more so to understand for me. Okay, I repeat. Uh -huh. Thank you. Just as the devotees have discussions with each other in this world. Yeah. This world. So, Imagine in this world. Yeah. So do the girlfriends and maidservants of Sri Radha have them in the spiritual world? Same Same right. Similar thing happening. What is happening in the material world? Why we born it here to to do the practical? The spiritual world also happening, going to happen same. Repeat again this. Trust as the vote. No se escucha. Español no se escucha. Perdón. There is no translator. Sí. What we can do? Sorry. Sí. 
Ya. Ya. Just as the devotees have discussions with each other in this world, so do the girlfriends and maidservants of Shirada have them in the spiritual world. Shirada. Understand them. Again, for them, slow, still more slow, my dear. Because translators need it slow, then they can translate. Okay. Just as the devotees uh. have discussions with each other in this world, so do the girlfriends and maidservants of Shirada have them in the spiritual world. Similar. That means same relations. Same feelings. I put my mind in the material world, I bring mind in the spiritual world. When my false ego then my mind is living in my body and senses, and I am in material world. And same thing I am doing and suffering. But I can bring my mind and my thinking with my soul also and sarup also. And I can move for the A spiritual world, because when I am in material body, it is a long distance call. Mm -hmm. Ten years before, eh, there is a local call. When we come to my sarup of the spiritual consciousness. Clear? Sai Radhi Gurudev, I was yes. thinking we are meeting now next week for the Supreme Mela and yes. we are meditating. Oh, I will meet uh, Shakshu and Mohini. I haven't seen them for a long time. Mm -hmm. And how are they doing? Oh, how is Kalindi doing? How is uh, Goranga Sunna and Ramani? I uh, would like to exchange with them. So this is, I think, some of the first steps that we are developing this intimate relationship between our devotees wow. and we are meditating. We are not meditating how is the Chancellor of Germany. We are meditating how is my dear um, Darcy, how is my dear friends and we are making plans how to meet and how to do exchanges of love. Wow. Then when we become more intimate with each other, then we are always uh, asking, how is your bhajan? Where are you meditating now? Where is your smaran? Have you any experiences? Oh, um, how are your dreams? Oh, I, did you ever dream of Srimati Radhika? And uh, we can become more like a bridge Vasi. This is how I feel that uh, the development, it goes first from uh, material consciousness, everything that is uh, outside, more to the relationship with the devotees to become more close and to, to fix one goal, the Sajatya Sangha. And then within the Sajatya Sangha, also, if we are very lucky, we can have very private exchanges about our bhajan, about our aspiration, about sometimes also what we are struggling with, where am I blocked, how is my relationship with Gurudev, many things that will be uh, helpful to come slowly and surely to the relationship with the bridge passes. And then one day when we are so lucky, we will always feel Oh, what is Shrimati Radhika doing now? Is she now at Radha Kund? Is she now? Oh, it's now, it's eight o'clock. Oh, I think she's getting ready to cook. 
in Mother Yashoda's kitchen. Maybe uh, as a mandri, I can meditate, that I can help her in the cooking, I can assist. And the mind will become more and more favorable into deeper and deeper meditations. And it's mercy, of course, but that's how I feel that there's some development in myself, which I have... Uh, um, which I have discovered that it, depending on where my consciousness is focused and my, my remembrance, my smaran, I will be attracted to watch TV or watch any uh, YouTube videos and think about the happenings of this world. Or I will like to read uh, Vilapakush Manjali. I will research Shishirada Rasudanidi, Shiprema Bhakti Chandrika, the, the things that Gurudev has given to me. And not only this, Gurudev will give hints. He will, in, when we talk with Gurudev, when we exchange, he will give hints, he will say something. And then I reflect and I think, wow, Gurudev just said to me, that was a V-Spurti. Oh, what is a V-Spurti? What is this? And then I, I again check in the, in the books. So for myself, I feel it like this. And if I'm lucky, by the mercy of all of you and Gurudev, also I will be more a Brajbasi soon and become more deep. Try Radhi. You say very beautiful things. Intimacy bring my mind. And the mind is not pure because of living in material world. It's a habit. Yeah. So it is covered with false ego. And the mind, when it starts moving for the spiritual world, it's out of condition of covering of a uh, false ego. And it becomes more and more touch and pure. In beginning, this mind not want to go there. But intimacy makes me to go there. So beautiful thing, you see that? What to do? I don't want to send my mind to a spiritual thing. I want to keep my mind in material calculation and thinking. But because of my attachment, without no efforts, it moves. You want to go there. Why Prabhupada mentioned about intimacy? Why not do intimacy there? Automatic your mind. Because of your intimacy, will try to move that way. Yes, Karanga, I am right or okay or not. <laughs> Good. You're not talking, you're not telling me. I'm, I want to check myself. Intimacy makes my mind. I want to keep it here in my body. What to do? It's not beautiful. Beautiful thing. This is the reason why <laughs> Baba is saying in the first sentence, the Jiva Goswami say, first, I want intimate relationship, then to attain you. First intimate. <laughs> because my problem is my mind. My problem is in mind, nothing else. My senses are not giving problem. <laughs> but my mind is pushed, Gurudev. You are what Prabhupada say. 
head is mind. Brahmana, this is the Brahman. Hmm. This to teach to the Brahman is a very difficult issue. You can teach the Shudra, you can teach the Kshatriya, Vaishya, but not to the Brahmin. And this is my Brahmin. It's a very difficult area. Eyes, nose, mouth, ear. And so many things, one place. Prabhupada say, Dhol Gamar Sudra, Sudra Thadan Ke Adhikari. What is Sudra, you know? Lower than never is Sudra. If you strongly teach Sudra, he will do that. You see the small baby, he can do kaka pipi everywhere. But when it grow and mother teach him strongly, no, you have to say me when you want to go kaka. It is talent. Mama, do this slapping. Then baby start understanding and he go and sit in the pan. So, Sudra, you can control. You can control everything. But you cannot control the Brahmana. Eyes, nose, mouth, <laughs> ear. There are many, many directions want to go. And that is the problem in our devotional life. So how to balance? Only with intimacy with Krishna you can balance this. First bring out to the mind, because of intimacy, slowly, slowly all will start moving. If not, then I do many things outside. Inside will not change anything. So intimacy is very, very important in life. Radhe? Radhe. Intimacy, yeah. intimacy, um, is two is two things at once, and these things are in conflict. Intimacy is like Guru Dev just said, as easy and as natural as we can imagine, and this is because it's the path to to our inner soul. It's the path to becoming to going back to where we are, back inside, and it's the path to but other Mohan in our in our hearts. So it's very easy. It's just a matter of it's just I say it's easy. It's not easy. It's a matter of surrendering to who we are, to our to our to our constitutional position. Just being ourselves. And then also as Guru Dev says, it's difficult because we try to think the thought of intimacy instead of feeling feeling of intimacy and then the mind blocks this surrender is the key i think to to intimacy to find finding our way to who we are and to rediscovering radha mohan in our hearts Karani. Gurudev? Yes. There is one song of Bhaktivinoda Thakur mm -hmm. in the collection of Sharanagati. Mm -hmm. 
which is say atma samarpane gela abhiman atma nivedanam atma samarpan means false ego surrender to guru to some what is sarnagati to i gurudev i want to surrender to your my false ego i cannot do i have a good karma so i have a false ego i not ready to listen because of the false position i want to surrender this false ego this false ego surrender not i surrender to you are surrender to you means where is my yesterday i surrender my false ego to you gurudev i am ready to listen and follow you are my navigator you are not my goal you are, i not surrender my false ego i not listen to you the day i surrender my false ego i i will follow your navigation you are the navigator and i will do that what you will navigate me right It's surrendering okay. to you surrendering to you lifted me from me the burden of false pride yes that false ego and no longer I can surrender my soul to you false ego i surrender now i am ready yes. to listen and follow you my heart is atmani vedan pujan sakhi gan atmani vedan i offer there surrendering to you lifted from me the burden of false pride burden yes that heavy burden what i everywhere i want that but i am not ready to listen i do the same thing non sono pronto ad ascoltare faccio sempre le stesse cose You see? Nahi korobu nija rakabidan. Nahi korobu nija rakabidan. You see? All the meaning is to surrender false ego to Abhiman. I will never keep any Abhiman. I surrender all that. abhiman is the word in hindi yes right perfect. check <laughs> atma smarpane gela abhiman my yes. false proud my false identity my false ego different meaning to surrender you and i you navigate me i don't know the way hidden way i not know you navigate me i am ready to follow your navigation but my goal you are not my goal gurudev my is this guru my goal radha mohan is my goal you are the way he is the goal if you make the goal then even you not listen to jesus jesus say i am the way and my father is the goal joy you see that he never said that i am the way and i am the goal and who said this 
it become mayavad philosophy <laughs> so meaningful is this can i add something so we can yes sure i am waiting for your adding so it's so beautiful to listen all of you unbelievable and um, intimacy intimacy it's a special point huh and would of i i uh, completely follow you there are two points of intimacy two one is what you say gurudev in the false ego there is also some intimacy but in the material senses and there is another see, intimacy but one thing one thing you say very good thing intimacy bring you in the false ego so yeah your intimacy in the material yeah world. i don't <laughs> know that i am going in false ego that is because bringing there because of my intimacy and this is the point where i need the guru to come out of this and what you say i have to offer him everything all this material intimacy this false ego i have to offer him and he will give me a new identification this is what he is giving in the heart and there is a point what is not available in the scriptures this is a point we can only get by the mercy of a guru we can read so much as we like but the knowledge alone cannot give this point this new intimacy this new identification this is a mercy by giving by the guru in a direct line who is coming from nityananda <laughs> otherwise it's never get you cannot create by your own uh, knowledge or whatever you get knowledge is okay it's very important also to know okay there is a krishna there is a radharani there is there are manjaris you know every everything but the intimacy with them is not coming by the studies of the scriptures this new identification is only given by a, a real guru who is in the who is in intimacy no? who is in in team <laughs> and so we can enter this team <laughs> the intimate team the intimate team, intimate team. <laughs> we like to play in one team <coughs> with our guru but we have to always remember if you want to progress you have to know guru is not a goal is not a goal no guru is the way because with whom i like to be in team with guru <laughs> <laughs> that is the mistake then i block myself yeah guru is the way he yeah. is the, he can bring me and catching my hand to the way right way mm. where means right way he will catch my hand and show me the right way show me ishta dev show me the path the who i am for the goal 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 wow that's the point Jai. this is this is surrender the moment we give up the words and wow. the logics and the philosophy there is the hand of guru wow. waiting I to take our take me i don't know that way to go Wow. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> It's spiritual thing. It's one. It's a divine thing. It's spiritual thing. Jesus say, "Love your neighbor." We are what sitting together and sharing 
we all are neighbor. Mm. My vision, I speak neighbor to all of you. Mm. So beauty is this, how you relate with divine divinity, right? Is a, your intimacy you can see this. Mm. Yeah. When we give up this Gurudev, we can be intimate in this life with this body also, no problem. No need to, to change the body. We can do it just now. Float, change the mind, float to change. <laughs> One place, and that Babaji written, he said, mental concoction. Mm. I was seven years thinking on this point. Why he say mental? Hmm. Really is a mental. Mana Siksha, he write this book. Is a mind business. Mind is not changing. Eyes will not change. Nose will not change. <laughs> will not change. For two years, I'm living in it. In Vrindavan, I see Brahmins. I have asked, they not change. This is not changing. I think mm. so much, yes, but it's not changing without intimacy. Oh. <laughs> you what? Really, I think. Highest place is the Brahmin area, but no, no ready to change. The highest is the guys, Gaudi. Highest is the highest. Why the <laughs> Brahmin area? Why the highest? Because of the Brahmin. Yes, we think All so, but it's an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go on. This uh, word, uh, in this book, uh, words are important. A line you will understand. Words are important. If you understand the meaning of reality of that word, you line you will understand. It's a natural. Everybody tastes the waves and he'll know the flow. He will never go to the ocean if there is no flow. I was in Boston, there is one ocean, nobody goes there. I said, why you go 100 kilo, 200 miles far? Here is the ocean in Boston. He said, there is no flow in this ocean. So nobody goes there. Dead. I said, wow. Yeah. Upa means close by. And Upasana means sitting close by. Yeah, well, underline this. All will be done with this. Close by. How to be a close by as a Dasi to Radhika? How much I am close by? You see the Jesus life. He was close by of his father or not? Upa, so hundred percent he sees a close by. Yeah, 
Yes, good. If, and we have to be close to those who are close. If they are not, you know, if I'm not in direct connection with Shimati Radhika, but I can feel the vibration of the, any person who I feel they are more close, and then I become close to them, and like this, I come closer and closer and closer. Why we we want to know about Jesus? Because he is close. Why we want to know someone who is a lover? Because it's close by. It's a question of intimacy. Yeah. Intimacy. <laughs> All is one. I tell you, the words are so beautiful <laughs> that when you will travel, you will always keep Prabhupada's book. Srimad Bilap Kusum Anjali and will and Radha Sudanidi, if you read, you will not leave these two books. Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita and Chaitan Chaitamrita. Some book you will keep side by side. Adi Lila for Canto Shore. Because this two books make you very crystal clear everything to see. The practicing devotee can stay close by them. Wow. The wow. Sakis and Mandans. The practicing devotee can stay close by them, the Sakis and Manjaris, in his spiritual body. You see? Here. The devotee can be become Sakhi and Manjaris. This is the meaning of this. This devotee who is close by, they have they can reach up to highest. <laughs> they can be a Sakhi if they like. If they want to be a Manjari, they can be if they are close by. Intimate. If not, then next life. Right? Clear? It's not difficult to understand. Nobody say, maybe, yes, easy? You see. Wow. Dave, this is the point. <laughs> We have to come through. We have to accept this. Otherwise, its knowledge is stopped. And then what you say, next life, see you. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe the opportunities in the next life are not so fortunate like this life. It's very dangerous to give up this. Yeah. And we all can only invite everybody to walk this path. That is the beauty. When we share it, everything, yeah. no preacher here. We are all oh. sharing and try to understand the subject. I also want to understand. And all you want to understand. So sharing without is not growing here. If you not share it, not exchange it, not make personal, not come in the picture, impersonal, you will never understand this. Mm. No intimacy. <laughs> intimacy. What is intimacy? 
in the name and picture and i am hiding are you what you do come in picture why you hide yourself i am eating i am talking with you i am taking tea i drink talk with you i hide something you never hide guru des when But you eat you eat when you well, drink you drink and even when you sleep we are all there I, even <laughs> when you sleep in the bed you talk to us <laughs> <laughs> this is what we love we also have to do this. <laughs> the practicing I am practicing to try to be intimate. I am not still, but I am practicing. <laughs> so nice. When wow. I was lucky to do that. <laughs> You are a great example. No, I am nothing. I am a student. I want to learn. And we learn from you, Gurudev. This open house, never close the door. I also try to do this, this here our in our small ashram. that our intimacy we are open to each other that the beauty yeah we not hide the practicing devotee can stay close by the sakis and manjuris in his spiritual body in his siddhadeya by constantly practicing smaran yeah only thinking and smaran is not any technical and sanskrit word thinking only the mind mind is there I am your dasi. I want to serve you. I want to be your friend. I want to be your servant. One one way I want to do. I cannot be your friend and dasi. So I want to be your servant to learn from your friend also. So simple. Means every minute I have to learn. If I say that's it, then I cannot say I know. Then you are friend. You are not that's it. When you are that's it, you have to say I am very unqualified, and I ready. I am a student. I am learning from friends and everyone. Right. This is beautiful sasanga bhajan. Wow. Devotion with spiritual attachment. Wow. Radhe. So we can see here there's a different types of devotion. But what is most important for us is devotion with spiritual attachment. There is different devotions, different paths of devotion, but this devotion with spiritual attachment needs intimacy and it needs these practical examples to be close by them, because with this uh, spiritual attachments. Confidential topics are coming out. 
and intimacy brings always confidential topics. Otherwise, it's not possible to speak about confidential topics without this intimacy. And when we say intimacy, it doesn't mean two persons, three persons. Actually, it can be thousand persons. But what is the common for each of one of them? Not good. Same mood. Same attachment. So it means sometimes devotees are saying, no, this is very confidential and we have to speak just eye to eye. No, heart to heart. And then it can be so many others, but they have to be in the same sasanga mood. Then confidential subjects, confidential topics can be very relishable, and each devotee can go deeper and deeper in these beautiful subjects. And Baba is giving here, like Chakshu read, how this intimacy is practicing in Siddha Deha, not only in Sadak Deha. We are using Sadaka Deha because we have Sadaka Deha, but through the Siddha Deha, exchanging intimacy through the awareness of spiritual identities, the most. One thing beautiful, say Gauranga. This, this mind, this uh, smaran, can bring out from Sadak Deha to Siddha Deha. First time come to me. This smaran will bring me out from Sadak Deha to Siddha Deha because it's of attachment. The crucial point. Huh? Crucial point, Guru Dev, is attachment to it. Not enough ruchi taste. Taste is helping to get attachment. Then feeling starting to flow flow, flow, and exchange of that feelings on the level of attachment is beautiful satsanga. Wow. I can reach to Siddha Deha by only because of this attachment yeah. of feelings. Wow. I realize how now we are mm -hmm. by your words. <laughs> Really, I say you honest. I learned from you, so it's not I true. Every moment we are a student to learn. Every moment is a teaching. Every moment to realize it. Wow. Wow. Words coming out there, Prabhupada. Really, I'm telling. In Sadika Deya, we, we read the words. We read the words on the page. We read, we read the slokas. But the movement to Siddha Deya is when we find Radharani in every word. In, she comes out of every word. Just like she comes out of every grain of food, she comes out of every grain of every material thing we see. This is the link between the, the two. She's living there in all these places. And we have to have our body to to see these things, to, to read the word. Wow. This is the passage between Smarana and and the spiritual level. 
I'll tell you, uh, if you like, I tell you a funny uh, intimate secret. Say, me. When I'm listening to Zoom Sangha, sometimes I switch over to Japanese translation and listen to Gavarwa and Lila because I don't understand anything of words, but I understand the feeling mm. coming from the translation. <laughs> <laughs> so you check yourself. <laughs> she has so I, I feel, uh, I, I feel Radhika only in the translation, I understand nothing. I am saying that uh, she has to come. She is a genius. One day I talk five minutes and she translates everything up to my ending. Three, four minutes, you see, all translate word by word. Very nice. Gavar Bandidi, please translate nicely, please. <laughs> we, knew, we, know, we need to know. This you have to translate. <laughs> Or Kishori also translate very nice. But now it's a big responsibility. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm just a small, small, small student. Yesterday I realized it. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, we are not giving you key for that. So this is not your mistake, our mistake, I, my mistake. So I will give you a key when you have a five more person like you. Then I will give you a key, okay. <laughs> Yesterday, I talked to this morning, Jananda Maharaj, then I realized what was my wrong things and history. And I'm very thanks. And this Sangha Sniti said about intimacy. Why I can open like this? I'm very young and not so much experience. Because I feel intimacy with all of you. And, but we will not give you key. After intimacy, I will not give you key. Till you not arrange five person for Jananda. <laughs> <laughs> but he uh, was making a deal with you now, Kishori. I realize it's a hidden, <laughs> hidden deal for the key. <laughs> no problem. I have Jananda Maharaj. He can do everything by his Shakti. <laughs> Krishna is doing the same, no? When he asks. Uh, Jananda also cannot do. What do you uh -oh. want to then I will close that key. <laughs> then, <laughs> Please help me, everyone. <laughs> Give me mercy. You have it's... to pay tax. <laughs> oh. You have to arrange for Jananda Maharaj. He really alone cannot do. We need more five men, like Kishori. Wow. I'm nothing, I'm nothing. And this time over uh, 120 devotees come, Brindavan. Wow. My um, Gavar Bani is coming or not? Yes, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because she got many mercy, because she translates nicely. This is a very pure soul. I love her so much. I trust her so much. That's good. Oh. Thank you so much. Now, the Sripath has returned to his Sadaka consciousness. He feels great separation from Swamini. Yeah. And prays that she will be revealed within his heart once again.
who will reveal swamini will be revealed in his heart once again yeah it is as if ishwari plays hide and seek with her maid servants sometimes she shows the sweetness of her form attributes and pastimes and sometimes she withdraws this vision yeah when the devotees are separated from her they also see her extraordinary sweet qualities wow so this happened then we feel missing to then we see the sweet qualities when we miss then we see the qualities when we are together we not understand the qualities right yes good and i was feeling that when she materadika becomes so much in deep mahabhav with with her beloved then she feels that she is missing him although she is together and in that missing although they are together the miracles happen yeah you cannot see the qualities when you not miss mm. yeah yes this shows the secret power of separation feelings that come from intense 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 attachment yes so i and is this material body it it we got it to all thing to feel in material world and understand nicely what is happening and to realize there in divine way i think good if when we leave this material body i will not miss it one second but, but if i develop attachment with shrimati radhika and her devotees her dasis i will miss them and i have to practice this now now is devotion and now if i do it will be going for permanent service permanent residency good is <laughs> nah, residency not in the circle coming going coming going. you cross so many suffering ocean davanal what is the davanal lidaloka samsara davanal lidaloka par davanal you see you jump out with that Yeah. Shri Radha is as beautiful as Sapta Sindhuvati Daritri. Ah. The planet Earth with her seven oceans. Wow. There are seven oceans in the material world. One of salt, one of sugarcane juice, one of wine, one of clarified butter, one of yogurt, one of milk, and one of sweet water. 
Boah. Shira, das Cleverness. Anurag, Affection, Compassion, Elegance, Forms and Pastimes are compared with these seven oceans in opposite order. So number one is Vaidakta Sindhu, Srimati Radha is an ocean of cleverness. Wow. The ocean, the sea, at the same nature can. If you become Radha Darsi, you will be most clever. You don't know how cleverness will come to you. Because everything is a crystal clear now. So this means Rasa Banditya, she is learned in the science of taste. Yes. We know the taste. We will not go to smell a stinky thing if she has a flavor of rose to smell it. A jasmine is smelling. So Gurudev, only if devotee knows and has experience of this science of taste, can really relish the science of Krishna consciousness. Wow. Because the science of Krishna consciousness is the science of loving relationship, especially relationship in Vraja and moreover especially relationship with Radhika exchanging with Krishna and especially more especially <laughs> is loving exchange between Radha Dasis who are serving the Yuga Lakishwar. This is the science of Krishna consciousness. But only those who know the Science of taste. This is the uh, This is Maha Mantra. This is the meaning of cling. This is the meaning of all sloka. Mantras. All mantras. In the beginning we don't know, but we know the day all tests will change. Sri Radha even teaches Rasika Shekhara, the king of relishes Sri Krishna expertise in the erotic mellow. Means he is teaching to the Rasik Sekhara how to take Rasa. You not know to do. In erotic mellow also. And who see that? Only Manjari can see that. Good. You don't know how to do because you're always fainting. You have to be more strong. Why are you always fainting? I don't know. I'm weak now. <laughs> you have to bless all of you that not faint. 
you become fast excited, not I have to be more strong. <laughs> yeah. By listening, I am start fainting now. So it is good that other think that I am in sleep or something, but this is the honest. <laughs> I have to become Chaitanya so I can feel you more and I can become more strong. Please help me by give me your luster, your golden color and your golden uh, feelings. Maybe then I can be more of Rasika and more of use also. <laughs> and by the way, I will distribute it to all the souls, this Prema Ras. Yeah. I'm a listener, I'm a student, I'm learning. I'm everyday learning new things. Yeah. Sri Krishna himself admits in Chaitanya Chaitamrita, Radhika's love is the teacher. Ah, beautiful. And I am the dancing pupil. <laughs> wow. she, always, she always causes me to dance, different wonderful dances. Who, who is the teacher? Radhika's and, love. And who is the A student? Krishna. Wow. Well, my Punya want to say something. Please listen. Come, come here. Turn this, huh? Nade, Nade, Nade. Don't worry. I don't know anything. I just felt again what is this. Again, Prima makes Krishna dance, makes the devotees dance, and dance itself. Both three are dancing. In one place it always it always comes back to this <laughs> nearly every class it always comes back to this verse eighteen eighteen it's always this so beautiful don't don't say you know nothing that's the only thing you need to know right there it's everything so go deep in one thing and then this is so beautiful all there, all by good and mercy. You only have to sit here and then sit in the Zoom and everything comes. <laughs> you mercy. <laughs> you mercy. Zoom mercy. <laughs> this is you mercy. <laughs> and who right. make you, you know? Suniti give the name Radha Dasha. And Gopinath and Rambija start the job. So they are the key. It's all your mercy, Gurudev, because your desire is so strong that we are dancing and learning how to dance in your Prem, in your Rati, in your Rag. And six six translation going on to the seven six seven like this. Yeah. yeah. Radhika's love is the teacher, and I am the dancing pupil. She always causes me to dance different wonderful dances. She is the teacher of arts. Srila Rupa Goswami writes in Uchwala Nila Mani. Kundalata Dolt Gargi. I don't know who is Gargi. Muni, Gargi Muni. Gaga Muni. Gargi Rishi. With the. <laughs> He is the biggest lodger. Mm. Of Nanda Baba and the house of 
Yeah. Of Nanda Gaon, yes. Oh, Devi, what more can I say about the artful expertise of Sri Radhika? She is the teacher by example of making pictures of mineral pigments. In brackets, Sri Vishwanath Chakravati Pad writes in his Ananda Chandrika commentary on this verse. The word Acharya means that Sri Radha did not learn this science from anyone. It was spontaneously manifest to her. Sri Radha is expert in cooking. Sri Radha can stifle even Sri Krishna in a verbal battle. Stifle means something like defeat. She is very learned in stringing flower garlands. Mm -hmm. She is expert in teaching the sari and sukha parrots how to recite beautiful verses. She can defeat even the unconquerable Ajita in the dice game. And she has a keen intelligence. Because of her cleverness, Srimati is compared here with the ocean of sweet water, the wow. cosmic ocean. So the second is the ocean of Anurag. Shirmati is the only ocean of Anurag. Anurag means Mahabhav. Anurag is ever fresh and ever astonishing. Shirmati thinks Krishna's sweetness is ever fresh. And she always has more taste for his sweetness. So she always relishes it. Srila Rupa Goswami writes in his Uchwala Nilaman. One day, Sri Matiradika and her friends, headed by Lalita, met Sri Krishna. Krishna became overwhelmed by Radhika's Madan Ras and just to choke with him, Srimati went to see her girlfriends in another bower. When the Sakis there pronounce Krishna's name, Sri Radha told Lalita, Oh, Krishodari, slender girl, who is that whose name you are pronouncing? Dalita said, Whoever it is, what's that to you? She rather said, Saki, I have to know because I am worried about how to keep my vow as a chaste housewife after hearing that name. Lalita replied, Oh, Ragande, girl blinded by love, but you are always playing at his chest. 
Sri Radha said, Saki, are you joking with me? I have never met this boy. Lalita said, Oh, Mohite, bewildered girl, has your knowledge been covered over by intense desire? I have just handed you over to him. Shiradika then remembers and says, Saki, you speak the truth. In this lifetime, he has appeared before me, before my eyes today for one second, just like a lightning flash. This example shows how Anurag makes the Anuragavati, the passionate girl, even more thirsty after Krishna's great and astonishing sweetness and thus makes her relish this sweetness more and more. Wow. 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 <laughs> Just like to recall the scene, because, uh, you know, Krishna is overwhelmed. He is lying there, fainted in one kunj. And Radhika is uh, mad in her love, and she goes to meet other girlfriends. And she's, they start speaking about him. And, and because she is so mad, she even forgot what just happened in this other place. And then Lalita says, you just were playing with this boy. And she says, no, I have, have never met him. You see how intense is Srimati Radhika's feelings? And when this intensity comes, Krishna cannot uh, keep his senses alive. He, he, mm -hmm. he, he is going in completely uh, unconscious body state. And that is so amazing that this deep, deep feeling of Srimati Radhika, she even doesn't, you know, she doesn't have to endeavor for it. It's her nature. And as soon as Krishna is fainting or he is not, able to continue then she goes to her girlfriends and they speaking as if nothing has happened can you imagine this this ecstasy this craziness that madness in uh bath and uh this shows also that the sweetness comes out more and more and more and now when she goes back to the kunj she wouldn't even remember that they have met before. I think it's amazing. These meditations are just amazing. And then uh, also what uh, Baba is explaining, this uh, Madana Mahabhav is that when she becomes so intense in her feelings that it's just not possible for, for Krishna to, to, to keep his countenance. Right, Goranga, you know more than me about this. <laughs> you have realized this more. I'm just like standing there with folded hands and begging Gurudev, please give me the key so I can serve in such a circumstance. This is the beautiful scene, actually, where, and it's very interesting that when Radhika is exchanging the lila, she is not aware of all Krishna's qualities. And when she is aware of Krishna's qualities, she is not aware of exchanging of different lilas. She cannot, her mind, her intelligence, her uh, emotions are completely spreading in all different directions in one moment, clashes, and then focused in another moment, focused completely in one point. So from that point, she sees only Krishna as she forgot the Lila. And when she remembered Lila, she forgotten Krishna. <laughs> she feels great separation. Up and down, up and down. Yeah. 
with the statement that Radharani is the only ocean of Anurag Rasa is meant that when Anuraga increases, it becomes Mahabhav. And that when Mahabhav increases, it is called Madana Mahabhav. So what is Rag and Anurag? Can you explain, Goranga? What is Raga, Raga Bhakti, and what is Anuraga? Yes, Raga Bhakti, if we are looking from one point, Raga Bhakti is something which devotee feels very strongly towards his beloved Ishtadev. His heart is melting, and his attachment for his beloved Ishtadev is unbelievably strong. And because of that attachment, Rag, one effect is coming that Ishtadev cannot resist. And Radhika, in our case, is appearing before this devotee in one moment. And that moment when Radhika is appearing is also actually Anurag. She is reciprocate to loving devotion, attachment of devotee, and she appears. And then, because of this Anurag effect of Anurag, Raga, then, in devotee, becomes new, fresh, and more intense. And because of new, fresh, intense, Radhika again appears to stimulate more and more and more Raga in the heart of devotee, his attachment. So this is the reason why she is playing, like Chakshu read it, this game, sick and hide. Sick and hide. So this anurag is something which is very strong, emotional strong, and brings, and it's the answer of hankering, of greed of the devotee. And when Anuraga appears in the heart of devotee, his greed becomes more, 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 and more intense. And attract again Ishtadev to appear again and again. Please, Gurudev, add. Very nice. If I could just add. Really nothing new, it's beautifully said by Gorangaman. But it's so very important this point, because Anurag is the secret of association. When we associate, love grows, because it goes two ways. There's an exchange of feelings. Anurag is the secret of the exchange of feelings and the way it increases the, uh, the, the prema, it increases the experience. And this is so very, very important. And the great difference between what we are seeking in our practice and, and the practice of simple kopi bhav or just one-sided uh, relation to Krishna. The anurag is the secret to 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 bhakti essentially because it makes a constant increase of feeling. Yes, Sudavaji, I will use the opportunity because Gurudev is not here <laughs> because we have to practice it also in his presence. We have to use Gurudev 
to feel his anurag toward us. That's it. Exactly. Okay, I continue. Sri Radharani is the only one who has this Madan Mahabhav and she is the fountainhead of all Mahabhav, just as the ocean is the fountainhead of all the rivers and ponds. The other gopis are her phalanx that help her to complete Krishna's relishing of transcendental mellows. Just as milk becomes sick, kshira, cream, when it is boiled down, anurag turns into mahabhav when it becomes Apple. sick. In this beauty, condense. Is anurag more condensed? Is more mahabhav? When feeling condensed, then sweet rice you can make. More condensed, you can take the butter. How much my condensed, my feeling is happening. Sri Therefore, the Anurag Ocean is compared to the sixth cosmic ocean, the ocean of milk. May I say something, Guru Yeah. It remembers me when you are warning us about lemon and milk. If we put lemon in one drop lemon of wrong association, asat sangha, in the milk, milk will become like a yogurt. And it's not possible to recover it. So, anurag will, be a, will appear in the heart of devotee only who has one pointed raga, in beloved Ishtadev and nourishing in the proper association sasanga. Otherwise, Anurag will never appear, never respond with such intensity because the heart and the minds are in different directions. This is the point why we have to be focused, like Guru Dev is always emphasizing this, that this milk, pure milk, never become yogurt in our heart. Otherwise, if it becomes yogurt, we have to start again to collect pure milk. And we cannot make burfi, right? No. <laughs> This is very, this sasanga is not naive thing, actually. Everything is coming through sangha. If we have wrong sangha, wrong things, wrong values, will come in the wrong, wrong discrimination will come. But if we have a pure sangha according to our desire to attain one goal, then it will be perfect milk, nourishing, sweet, and then we can make whatever we want to condense more and more like a burfi, like, like all sweets. And this is not just naive thing. Yeah. 
The third ocean of is the ocean of Vatsalya. Shirada is the ocean of Vatsalya. Vatsalya means love for the poor and the fallen. Wow. Just as Shirada is an inexhaustible storehouse of erotic rasa, she is also a great ocean of Vatsalya affection. Yeah. Oh. And the Manjari's Dasis are in Vatsalya Rasa. The writers of the Rasa Shastras say that the Vatsalya Rasa is not compatible with the Maturya Rasa, but Radharani makes them compatible in some situations. Wow. For instance, for example, she gives the greatest bliss to Rasika Shiromani Krishna and her girlfriends and maidservants when she gives this motherly affection to Krishna while he takes his meal. She radas Vatsalya towards her girlfriends is also most wonderful. She is always controlled by their affection. Sri Rupa Goswami gives the following example in his Ujjwala Nilamani. Sri Radha had a quarrel with Sri Krishna, but now she regrets it. This is called Kalahantarita Bhav. She is once more very eager to meet him. But in order to show that she is under the full control of her girlfriends, she tells Rinda, O oh, Saki Rinde, tell this Prince of Raj that I am controlled by my girlfriends. Why? Does he waste his words on me? We are proud girls. It's not proper for him to stay in our abodes. Tell him that he'd better fearfully flee. Doesn't he know the prowess of my friend Lalita? With these words, Saki Vatsala Sri Radha pleases her girlfriends and gives a hidden instruction to Shyamasunda to come and meet her at the same time. Sri Radha's Vatsalya towards her maidservants is incomparable. The maidservants are always showered by waves from the ocean of her motherly affection. I read this sentence again. The maidservants are always showered by waves from the ocean of her motherly affection. She always keeps them by her side, calling them, my Rupa Manjari, my Rati Manjari, with strong feelings of minus. In the eighth canto of his Vrindavan Mahimamrita, Sripat has drawn 
a very sweet picture of how Sri Radha showers her maidservants with the nectar of her compassion. Day and night, the maidservants are staying at Sri, Sh Sri Ishwari's lotus feet, for they will die if they are separated from them for even a second. They are very enchanting as they wear the leftover garlands, dresses, and ornaments of the loving divine couple. And they are also adorned with many amazing attributes, such as great humility and good behavior. Because there is a lot of the essential part of affection in the Vatsalya Ocean, just as yogurt is the essence of milk, this ocean can be compared to the fifth cosmic ocean, the ocean of yogurt. We have three minutes left, so I read the, the fourth ocean, the ocean of deep compassion. Shirada is the ocean of deep compassion, always showering her devotees with the nectar stream of her mercy. Those who have been touched by the nectar of that compassion can testify. Srila Raghunathas Goswami says, Karuna Vitravat Deha, her body melts with compassion. Normally, a person's heart melts with compassion, but only in Nadarani's case, the whole body melts with compassion. She always bases in streams of ambrosial compassion. And because Krishna accepted her mood, when he became Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu is so merciful. Mahaprabhu does not consider who is qualified or unqualified, who is from which caste or from which ashram. He gives prema, love of God, without making any such distinctions. That is a body melting with compassion. It is rather storehouse of compassion, not Krishna's. In Raj Leela, the storehouse of Radha's mercy remained hidden and closed. But when Mahaprabhu accepted the mood and complexion of Sri Radha, it became manifest to the world. Mahaprabhu showed the people of the world how the body can melt with compassion. Because he assumed Sri Radha's merciful mood. Because Radhika's body melts with compassion, it can be compared to the fourth cosmic ocean 
the ocean of clarified butter. We have three o'clock in Europe. Shall I continue or stop, Gurdiv? It's difficult to stop. It's difficult, but Japan is uh, very late. They are maybe 10 or 9, 30. So next time they have to wait. We have to read from next time how she is a merciful Basalia to the Sakis and Manjaris. Very beautiful subject. Then it will be radical. Kauravani has chosen a wonderful verse. Wow, very nice. You have to read also next Sunday. Everybody will be ready for that. Yes. Thank you. We want to know the Bhatsalya. How she give Bhatsalya her Bhatsalya? Take care. Uh, yeah. Sunday, we are the frame.